Tule be, e të mbrija të vejdjeni. Sponsor, e vërë këtë janë në batale jetë bjele. E pëja që e që përroni të përra të përdjeni në në më ndira, e përroni e të bjeni. A post të të përja në përgule, e liti dhe dhe pëtirlia e të hestinia, a përni të dhe dhe winni në kampërja. Në në nëmë në dhja lepa, e përndi dhe e të hinë 66, e rrët përstohë, e dhe pak të lejti e në ka për dhe jetë. Sa më këla të je putu e të nëni. Dhe herë dhe gudu të e në përsene të për këllëte. I të bëj, a në valle, ha në më ndi! Welcome in my brothers and sisters of the order. I am Celtic Templar and yes y'all, today we are actually of 1066 of none other than the Battle of Hastings. And now I want to put this out here y'all, the Battle of Hastings is probably one of the first battles I was ever to majorly geek out about, or the year of 1066 especially, that I was mainly uh, ever to geek out about and especially of October the 14th. However, we cannot forget about Stamford Bridge that happened a couple of, well, such and such days prior. And I want to put this out here, y'all. The Battle of 1066 is probably one of the coolest years ever I want to talk about because one is the major fact that they, we got the invasion of Harold Hadrada and as well even Duke William of Normandy and especially the major king himself, Harold Godwinson. And in such, we got to understand that the Battle of Hastings is one of the most major battles in history. And in such, it could have actually happened differently if, for example, uh, or as well, history could have been a lot more different if none other than William the Conqueror failed to actually take England. In other words, there actually was a major uh, point in history that it's actually stated that if Harold Gondwinson had held the line, or as well, had his army pushed downward, they could have actually defeated the Normans. But pretty much that's what we're going into right now. We want to actually talk about the Normans' armor and equipment. Well, yes. Now I want to put this out here, y'all. I wanted to get my mace uh, entirely ready. Uh, problem is, I could not get it at this point in time. Yeah, right now they kind of had a little bit of a shortage on Norman style uh, maces, so what I have to go with right now is an axe, so, uh, but yeah, you'll see pretty much in history though, the Normans were known to have used a small hand axe, especially the cavalry, especially to destroy and deliver a heavy blow into their opponent. So, uh, just in case, if you never you know, uh, this is actually what many times in history though, but we're pretty much going to be talking about the equipment used by both the Norman knight and the mercenary units, yes, mercenary units, in the Norman army. And in such, they're how, how to dress as they would have dressed as. In fact, right now I am wearing a Norman nasal helm, a coif, which it's uh, rarely known if they would have actually worn male coifs or if this a, have an added ventail to the upper part. However, we also have their kite shield and so on. And as well, I'm even wearing a, well, short sleeve dambeson underneath this. And pretty much though, we will understand on the historical attributes on what they would have entirely been, well, reflected as. Now, I want to put this out here, y'all. The Normans are still one of my favorites as history and in such. They are really cool badasses. But anyways, why don't you see very soon on how cool these guys are and you can understand my point, shall we?
to distant shores. Stand up high on the prow, noble bark I steer. Steady course to the haven, hew many foemen, hew many foemen. My mother told me someday I would buy galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up high on the prow. Bark I steer, steady course to the haven. Human foemen, human foemen. My mother told me someday I would buy galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up high on the prow. Steady course to the haven Human foemen, human foemen Human foemen, human foemen Wasn't that thrilling? Now, I hear many of y'all. Templar, were you sweating the entire time when you were using this? Uh, no, because the fact is we were doing this in September, mainly with filming, and the fact is I was wanting to make sure that I didn't uh, 
sweat profusely. And in fact, we're having a little bit of a cold uh, month here in September for September for some reason. So I was finding a little, a little weirded out by that, but yeah, but that's kind of weird for Texas, for example, because Texas right now should have been in a heat wave. So that means it might be a colder month for Texas again. In other words, we might see more snow again. <laughs> oh, but I know one of my viewers is wanting me to do a uh, how-to video on the Dark Age Welsh, especially of the late Dark Age Welsh mainly. So, yes, we will be doing that probably, hopefully very soon, after October. Now, I want to put this out here, y'all. The Welsh are one of my favorite uh, type of badasses in history, but I mostly love the Britannic Celts, or in this case, the uh, Broto or uh, Britannio Romano Celto type people. In other words, the type of Celtic Welsh warriors by the late antiquity. And as such, I will be doing them hopefully soon, as I said. It, we gotta do our research into preparing for what they would have looked like, what their arms were, would have been looked like, like, and such. So yeah, we gotta go deep and long in history what they would have, would have actually been like. Now, uh, though, if any of y'all have any ideas of how-to videos I should do, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to get right to them. And as well, y'all, I do have to put this out here for the Battle of 1066. It's still one of my favorite battles in history. But if you have, you have any battles and such I should talk about or in such to do a how-to video on and what the gear and armor would have been used, please let me know in the comments below as well. And in such, we will hopefully try and do it our best as such to what they would have been full extent. Now, I want to put this out here, y'all. Uh, most of the equipment I am using is pretty much that of what it was historically used as. And, in fact, the sword I was using was that of the uh, Norman Knight Sword. But, as well as y'all know, in the video I stated that, in the text, that the Norman Knights did use a very uh, wide variety of swords, which is actually true. And in such, uh, whenever I try and look up historically what Norman Knights would have looked like, I get less and less information and more whatever fantasy type stuff for some reason. And in such, the only place I can actually see a Norman Knight looking good and historically accurate would actually be on wargaming type of play figurines, which actually look incredible, by the way. I You gotta admit, those things look awesome, because they actually try their best at making sure it's historically accurate-wise as possible, which is what I love about that group. In fact, I look more at these figurines and see more history-wise than I do uh, play uh, directed of why, but you can see why I love history to its major form. Now, I want to put this out here, y'all, though, while wearing the gear and armor, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know if any of y'all realize this, but, um, apparently there was a little problem in the backyard. Apparently, uh, some, uh, wild cats that live here in Texas, or, uh, feral cats as we call them, uh, kind of roam the neighborhood and such, which, yeah, and we all know what, uh, an animal leaves in your backyard. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to explain of how many, t uh, landmines that we, uh, ended up, uh, having to get rid of before we did the video, but let's just say it was, uh, not pretty. So, yeah, I'm just lucky none of it got on my shoes because that would have been very disturbing to remove from medieval-style footwear. However, that might have actually uh, included to another how-to video, how to remove uh, cat crap from your uh, shoes. <laughs> uh, but you see my point. Um, but anyways, uh, if any of y'all have any ideas for a next how-to video, please let me know in the comments below, and as well as uh, know any other ideas that, which you want us to do. Anyways, guys, it's been Celtic Templar. Hope to see y'all in the next one. Have a great day, and farewell. Mm -hmm.